Hello sweet sweet souls, welcome back. I hope that you are really good and that you had a good week. Uh, so this week what we're doing is, are you on their mind? Um, so we've got two decks, deck number one and deck number two. So this is the Earth Child Tarot. And this one is a bit of a think, uh, a bit of a different kind of deck for you. So this is the Goblin Market Tarot. So interesting, uh, different type of deck. Uh, one of my mates grabbed it for me from the Tarot Conference last year. It does also have a soundtrack that goes with it. Um, depending what you're into, the soundtrack really wasn't for me. Uh, but some of you guys might really, really like the deck. Um, so I felt that we should use it today. Um, so are you on the mind number one number two I've also got some spaces for next week if you want a reading um, yeah a couple of spaces well like two so if you want a reading next week let me know uh, number one number two just get in touch Mr. Love Tower at gmail.com let's go number one are you on their mind let's see what comes up so as always it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all uh, I always say this, but a bit like how you had to work out the average of maths at school. We go into all of your energy, which is what I'm doing now. Ooh. And then we go into all of your people's energy, which is what we're about to do. So think about your person. Okay. And let's get your thoughts, feelings, their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions in the card. And then we pull out the strongest energy that is lying between yours. So again, if you need a private reading, uh, just give me a shout because it does work on a collective basis. Okay, let's go. So are you on their mind? Let's see what spirits say, see what the cards say. Oh, that was a good start. One, two, I'm gonna get five. I'm just gonna do five, three. You'll be very happy with these, but very happy with these. Five. Okay, well, I don't think you could have really asked for better cards than that. <laughs> okay, so those of you that read Tarot, you've got the Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Those of you that don't read Tarot, what have we got here? Well, your person is absolutely thinking about you. All of these cards are extremely positive cards. So let's start off at the bottom with the Queen of Cups. This is where Spirit are drawing me first. Um, and with this, I'm getting this song, um, and it is the, oh, I can't remember who sang it, but How Long Will I Love You, As Long As The Stars Shine Above You, was it Ellie Goulding, maybe? Um, that really coming into your guys' energy. So there is very strong feelings here, very strong emotions, and you are absolutely on their mind. Um, what really is drawing me to this card is it actually spirit saying that they also dream about you and you are, you're like this, you are the first thing they think about in the morning and the last thing they think of at night before they go to sleep. Regardless of where your situation and circumstances are, your individual circumstances, they still think of you last thing of night and first thing in the morning and there is this very, very strong love between you both. Um, they also see you in a very mystical energy, this very kind of powerful, creative, beautiful energy and they just love your vibration, they love your frequency and they have or are in the process of falling in love with you. The emotions that they have for you are actually quite steady and um, they do know where their heart lies and their heart does lie with you. So that is coming up first and foremost. Uh, with the sun at the back, remember we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but the sun will, sun will signify a masculine energy which would signify your person. So we have over here this energy balancing. So the queen of cups is a female energy. The sun is the male energy and you have the balancing of the yin and yang energies between that. So very strong focus on the duality, the right, the wrong, the good, the bad, the light, the dark, more likely to be a more divine relationship between the two of you. But love conquers all, spirit is saying over here. So whatever's going on with you guys, love conquers all. With the Ten of Pentacles right next to it, they can see that they have a future with you. They can see that they can have a family. They can see that they can have really, really happy times with you. And there is also potential for marriage um, and some home decor. Spirit just showed me the home decorating. Um, that's coming up with you guys. So if you are looking for the next steps, this is indicative here that your person is thinking of taking those next steps with you. If you're not and you're a little bit unsure, this is again planning for the family. Now with the number 10 coming up, a 10 will symbolise an ending and a new beginning. Um, can be siphoned down to a number one. So those of you that are into numerology, this will talk about relationships manifesting into the 3D. So again, more divine connectionship. Connectionship? Quite like that. That was a spiritual slip, wasn't it? Connect, because they talk in my ear like this. Sometimes the words get really mixed up and so connection, relationship, and they're saying connectionship. 
So you have this connection ship between the two of you, home decoration, building houses, building um, a solid foundation for a relationship together. And again, masculine energy at the top. Now where we're going next is the Four of Wands. So again, a more divine card. Those of you that are into Twin Flames, this will symbolise 1111. Again, numerology coming forward with you guys. Um, you might notice with your person, like as you're driving, you're going to see quite a lot of signs and symbols and numbers. Please do pay attention to them. That is the universe directly talking to you. So you've got your celebration over here. And as you can see, you have the sun, the sun and the sun. Again, signifying the masculine energy. Um, but also the sun in tarot is a card of happiness, it's a card of success, it's a card of joyous times. So all of these are heading in the right direction. Your person is absolutely thinking about you, thinking about where this can go, what they want, um, and the future that the two of you hold together. Four of Wands is your celebration. Again, your weddings, your parties, your happiness. So in love, planning families and weddings and happiness and joy and celebrations. The other two cards, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, really good cards again. So if you are waiting for your person to make that offer of love towards you, this is your offer coming in. And um, it might branch a little bit on the side of insecurity. Um, so they might be a little bit immature. Okay, so you might find that they say something which is a little bit like, oh, you might react and be like, well, how old are you? Like type thing. They might say something that will irritate you over here, um, but there is this offer of love and it will be met, meant with the best of intentions. So if they say something that's a bit flippant and annoying to you, um, do you know kind of read between the lines that they, they are doing it with the right intentions for you. It's a lot of naivety. Um, and why there is naivety with this? Because they're blinded by love. What I'm also seeing within this card is the salmon at the bottom now being druid. We talk about salmon quite a lot. They are the fishes of rebirth. They are the fishes of wisdom. Okay, so if you guys are not communicating or it's a bit peak tongue at the moment, wisdom and rebirth coming your way. They have grown from the situation and the rebirth will happen between the two of you. Last card, Ace of Wands passionate new beginnings. So you are working to these new beginnings with one another. With these Ace of Wands, I'm really feeling that the emotions are stabilizing. So if you have been feeling like you've been rolling rolling a ride, roller coaster, riding a roller coaster, again, they, they talk so quickly, riding a roller coaster, those emotions are gonna start settling. And as I got that spirit finishing off the reading with the song Wonderwall by Oasis, I mean, who doesn't love Oasis? Even now, Oasis, um, great band, quite a local band to me as well, or they were. Um, so yeah, new beginnings. And what I wanna finish the reading on over here is the Ace of Wands actually got a moon. So where you might feel your person is in control of the situation with all these sunshines kind of coming up over here, the moon finishing the reading off, you are actually the ones that are in control of this. You are gonna be the ones that end up calling the shots on what it is that you want from the connection but your person will make those moves towards you, which is really, really interesting. There's a lot of love here. So are you on their mind? Absolutely. How more, how more British could I sound? Absolutely, you are. So if you need me, drop me a message, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Like I said, I've got a couple of spaces available for readings next week. I think it is quite limited. I think it's two maybe one, but there is limited spaces. So if you want that, uh, drop me a message, uh, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com, or you can just DM me on Instagram or Facebook. Also, all the details of readings are on the website, www.mysticlovetarot.com. Okay, let's go, deck number two. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, what we are doing today is, are you on their mind? And for deck number two, we are using a very interesting deck called the Goblin Market Tarot. Now, one of my friends bought me these back from the tarot conference last year, because I couldn't go because I was heavily pregnant. They do have a soundtrack to them. Um, the people that have done this, John Matthews, um, he is a druid as well. So I'm always really drawn to his stuff being druid. Um, lots of cards, lots of books that he's done. He's very, very intellectual, very clever. Um, but you might quite like the soundtrack if you're into something a little bit different. So this is the box if you're interested. Um, they work well with energy, they do work well. Is it a deck that I would normally be drawn to? No, but it does read, it does read well. So, don't listen to that. Um, you might be quite interested. So you can probably find the music on uh, iTunes, Spotify, if you're wanting something a bit more funky. Let me know what you think if you do listen. 
Okay, let's get going. So, um, what is your person? Think about them, please, as I just get into their mutual energy. What is your person thinking about you? Are you on their mind? Let's go. One. Are you on their mind? Two. Three. Three. Someone's mowing the lawn, can you hear that? Four. Okay, right, we're actually going to do six because the cards are saying six sometimes. Spirit told me one thing and the cards are like, no, actually, I'm going to tell you something else. So, are you on their mind? Where are we going to start? I'm going to read down. Okay, so sometimes with card readings, you can read down as well as across, and I feel like we're going to read down. So the first two cards that we have got are the Hermit and the High Priestess. So those of you that are interested in the cards, these are your Goblin cards. So, Major Arcana, yes, there is stuff going on here. What Spirit are really drawing me to, and what they are saying to me, is it's actually things happening behind the scene, and this is where the secret way is coming up. So if your person has vanished into the sunset, isn't speaking to you, you aren't sure what's going on, you've got this sense of confusion coming on it, there is a lot of things happening behind the scene. So they are thinking of you. Um, but it's like this processing, they're processing things at the moment. So they are in a bit of a retreat, they are looking inside themselves to find the answers. With the Empress, um, sorry, with the High Priestess next to it, you are very much in their thoughts and you are in this power based energy. So reflecting on the situation, reflecting what they want on it, so yes, again, in their mind, the high priestess, you are magical. So if you've been using these tools and abilities to manifest what it is that you want into the real world, this is your signal that it is heading that way. If you feel that nothing has happened during your manifestations, again, this is a kind of a case of just be patient, it is all working out for you. Um, and what I saw then, uh, Spirit showed me a book and when I looked into the book, it was like these chapters all kind of merging into one and spirit showing me with that, the jigsaw pieces fitting. So it might feel that not much is happening at the moment, but the jigsaw pieces of the situation between you and your person are fitting together. They're starting to fit. OK, so are you on their mind? Yes, secretly, <laughs> secretly. They're thinking about you, um, not expressing it. Potentially not talking about it, probably not seeing any signs, you guys seeing any signs that this is heading in the right direction, you're all a little bit like, oh, what's going on? What Spirit is saying to me is that this situation is humbling them, okay? So they've probably never felt like this before, they're a little bit confused by it, and um, normally they've kind of took the whole world in their stride, and then they meet you, this high priestess, and they're like, well, what do I do? So the situation is humbling them, and that's why they could be retreating from it, and that's really important for you to know. When we go down next, we've got the Knight of Pentacles and we've got the Star. So, these two cards over here. Your person is taking their time with the situation. You might find that they're a little bit backwards and forwards. You might find that the situation is really, really slow paced. But with the Star coming up next to it, it's saying, yes, there's a lot of hope. So, when they're asking, when we're asking, are you on their mind? Yes, but they're taking their time with it all, but they've got hope that it's heading in the right direction. So again, retreating from the situation, taking a step back, thinking about you kind of secretly and making a slow, steady movement towards you. Spirit is saying with that, that it is quite mind orientated and that's where the star is coming in as well. So they are a lot in their head at the moment, uh, rather than in their heart. If they were gonna follow their heart, it would kind of lead towards you. But their head is just pulling them in a little bit of a different direction at the moment. Again, reason why is because they haven't felt this way before. So they can be a little bit overwhelmed. Um, Spirit also saying to me that they can be blinkered as well. So that sometimes they can handle situations a bit weird. Sometimes they, have been so used to their own company for so long that they can't see the wood through the trees. Um, so they have that kind of sense of blinkered with this. But again, you've got this hope of slow movement. If you, they're thinking, well, if you go at their speed, this could work out and that's in their mind as well. So where they are at the moment, reflecting where it's going. If you go at their speed, 
this can work out between the two of you. Now the other thing kind of coming up at the end is you've got the Page of Swords and you also have the Five of Wands. Again, quite a mind energy rather than a heart energy. They're very much in their head about this, thinking about you a lot. And, and that's really important when we're asking, are you on their mind? Um, and when working with a lot of air energy, a lot of thought processes. So yes, that's there. You've also got internet-based energy coming up with that. So you've probably got communication through if you're not in communication, we've got the, uh, sorry, yeah, so communication, if you're waiting for communication, it will come through the internet, um, rather than probably just a normal text, so you might be looking at um, Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, uh, kind of social media based energy. They are watching your social media as well, um, and we also have this sense of conflictingness with them, so confliction, not conflictingness, that is not a word, confliction. Um, it should be a word though, shouldn't it? So you've got their, their, they are conflicted in the head and the heart. Again, the head is very much orientating this at the moment. They aren't allowing their heart to really come up that much at the moment because they don't want that sense of vulnerability. That again is why they are retreating and reflecting on the situation. So we've got a sense of conflict. Um, are watching social media if you've got it. Um, if you if they haven't got social media or they've blocked you, please don't panic because it, there is still a way that they are watching you. Um, the conflict also is lying with, again, it keeps coming back to head and heart. I'm just gonna pull one more on the conflict. Can I have one more to explain a little bit deeper about why they're feeling so conflicted. Yeah, again, it's the head's taking them one way, the heart's taking the other. And we've got the three of ones to kind of clarify why they're doing that. So they want to take action on the situation. There is, they feel that they need to make movement on the situation. They don't want to lose you. Um, but they also want to make sure that they're making the right choices and right decisions with that. So that's why they're taking their time with it. They've got a lot of hope that this can work out with you. Um, but they do just want to go at their own speed because they don't want to get hurt. Um, and they just, yeah. So they're kind of like a little bit once bit and twice shy for just going at their own speed. They're kind of like, I'm not going to change because I've worked really hard to be the person that I am today. Good for them. Um, and that is where that reflection is coming in as well. So regardless of where your individual circumstances are, yeah, you are on their mind. It's quite slow paced, um, but very much a mind energy rather than kind of emotional energy. Not much water energy going on, but they are thinking about you. Yes. Um, with the potential for where it goes in the future. So if you need me, I've got a couple of spaces, or like I said at the start, one or two spaces, I can't even remember now I'm saying it, uh, for next week. So if you need me, uh, drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. Email readings are 24 to 48 hour turnaround. I can also do them on vo voice note on Instagram and Facebook if you want one of them. Uh, they're £8.50 a question. Um, video readings, all details are on the website. Or you can just drop me a message because I will respond um, now that my out of office is officially off and we are rocking and rolling. I love you all. Uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. Ciao.